What's up guys? Here we go again. Some more fishy toys. This time we're going to take a dive into some fishy consumables and mm -hmm. fishy vaults. Yeah. A, a mix of everything. You guys know it. These are the turtle collector cards. Second um, series from way back in 1990. Yeah, we have 1990 here. Five cards, one sticker, and a stick of bubble gum. I don't know how old our target range here is for this video. These are super nostalgic for us. I remember uh, eating this uh, bubblegum when it was old 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that it is 28 years old right now is interesting. Matter of fact, it doesn't even feel like bubblegum anymore. It I just, got, this one's broke. I think they're all broke. Huh? Huh? They're okay. all just... Yeah. They have crumbled. This one kind of feels like it might be in one piece. Um, but yeah, guy, like, man, do you guys remember these? This do we way. have anyone out there? That I'm sure. These? I'm sure somebody watching this loves this stuff. I opened up a ton of these when I was yeah. a kid, and, and literally like twenty five cents, a wonderful price point. Uh, wonderful. I love this wax. Yeah, like this waxy it's, feel. It's, it's so nostalgic. Paper. It's so wonderful. Uh, so. Tops really came out with a cool line of these. This was. And trading cards, yeah, I remember this is pre Pokemon, but post like explosion of baseball cards, it kind of an interesting gap. And as a kid, I absolutely loved these things. Uh, I probably got a full set or real close to it. Um, but I have some of these, and we're gonna bust them open for you today because. It's right. cool. Let's get into this. I can't. I can't wait to taste this. Yeah, everyone wants to, and they just fall apart, mind oh, you. The, yeah. These were totally sealed, and they straight up just fall apart. Yeah. There, the the glue holding this together was so oh, cheap. Oh man, I remember it. Oh, wow, that's a interesting. The puzzle on the back. You don't remember the puzzle cards on the back? See, I have the. That's what the puzzle looks like, guys. Oh, and you've got okay. one of the puzzles. All right, yeah. So here we go. Got Leonardo's. She's got crotch. that bubblegum stain. Mmm. Yeah, there we go. Uh, my sticker is Baxter Stockman, and yours is Ralph, right? Yep. Got Raphael. Um. So, I'll set that aside. I have 162 and down the tube. <laughs> um. So there you go. Right out of the cartoon. I, I think all these are straight out of the cartoon series. Yeah. So there are 88 TMNT second series cards. Okay, so they're going to start at uh, probably. Yeah, probably. So it, it, all mine were in the hundreds. Take off down the tube to retrieve the fly weep on. <laughs> It's separated. Yes. So sorry, guys. The weapon. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the fly's name, Weepon, but it's Weapon. Yeah. Um. They know it's, it's Baxter Stockman. You know this. Michelangelo, back to the turtle. Okay. Anyway, that's a cool card. I'll let you show yours. I also like that they are continued. Like they'll tell a little story on the back, and they'll say continue on card. With the next number. Uh, oh, I got wow. Goons and Harpoons yeah. here, which is the uh, sewer floater with a harpoon stuffed in it, which is, was a really cool toy and honestly a really neat scene. Here's a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Everybody loves the Ninja Turtle. I'm sure everyone remembers <laughs> that. that uh, that's Really, if there was a card I was hoping to pull out of these, I think it was the Ninja Turtle. Uh, not quite chip shape. Baxter is falling into, I think, Dimension X here, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm sure it tells me. Uh, yep, it doesn't say that, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Fly vs. Turtles. I had this action figure. Loved this figure. Mm -hmm. Baxter was just a cool character in general. Bye-bye uh, Fly, which is Baxter facing off against a big spider. There's Quakes and Shakes. Rapping Michelangelo on that one. 
Oh, Ventos thinks this is where they return a egg to him. I don't remember that at all. Uh, Usagi Triumphs, I guess. Usagi. Mm -hmm. One of our favorite rabbits. Uh, sweet white rabbit. Sewer Surfing. They're back on the, the floats, kicked back. Kind of a neat card. And I think what everyone wants to, to see is us try some of this delicious... Here it is. Ooh, you have a whole thing. This is a whole one. There are lots of brown spots. <laughs> Mm, I get chunks. It smells just like these cards. <laughs> just cardboard. Old. Old cardboard. Like, it, okay. <laughs> like Go a book a library. from the 90s. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in a library. That book in the very back that no one has opened for 28 years. You open it up, and that's what smell we got. I like that there's still oh. these weird shades of pink going on here. Yeah, there's pink, anyway. there's brown. Are you ready for this? Yeah. That's... I don't know how sick I want to get, so I don't think. I'm no, gonna... I'm going all in. All this, in. Huh? This is pure nostalgia. Okay. <laughs> this is well, what nostalgia tastes like, guys. Cheers. <laughs> you know, honestly, it tastes just like it did in 1996. It does not. Mm. It fills. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Probably shouldn't eat bubble gum that's this old. It, there is no sweetness to it. It's pure chalk. It tastes like I took some pages out of an encyclopedia <laughs> and chewed it up. I get a little bit of a Pepto taste. And a whole lot of, like, Valentine's candy hearts. Oh, it's if in you my... just, like, left them outside. It's in my mouth. It's all in my mouth. Okay. Mm. Nostalgia feel of it just crumbling in my mouth and dissolving instantly. That is what I really wanted. That taste is not. Don't eat this. Oh. Kids at home, if you come across a case of these, don't eat them. Oh, my God. <laughs> it literally tastes like I've been sucking on an encyclopedia. Ugh. 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 All right. Yeah. Let's um, car carry on. Yeah. Remember, we have to eat like five of these. I love how they just they're they're sealed in the way that they're not even sealed anymore. Yeah. They're sealed by the heat wax. <laughs> All right. So I got a splinter mm. foot on my number eleven. For my sticker, because it's gonna go this way, and I got April and then Explorer guy. Yeah, I don't know who that is. That's a terrible sticker. So. Uh, I got a Leo, which is a really sweet sticker, and a really terrible puzzle piece. This is just the corner of the room. Uh -huh. We're up there somewhere. Yeah, the corner of a TV, I guess. All right, uh, I got heading for the hideout. There's all four of the guys looking oh, at. That's a good one. Um, I guess a hideout. So there you go. Blam! Straight up, Michelangelo gets zapped. Uh, terrible card. Stories continued on to Ninja Turtle. See, he walks into this trap and gets turned into a Ninja Turtle. That's why he's got Mikey. Headband on because it's Mikey. You remember way more than I do. No, that says on the card. No, no. Return of the Fly. There you go. Um, broken backs. Yeah. You know, uh, oddly enough, these cards were so poorly printed. This is studying the screen. They're all just hanging out. This is straight up an excuse to fill a card out. Uh, some of these did not hold up well for being sealed for the Home last Home of the Fly. Oh, for the gang there, looking skinny. Angry Krang. He's angry about something. But, uh... Ubuntu, thanks! Oh, we got that one already. Oh, we did? Yep. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, right there it is. Too well, many first cooks. Double. Uh, Too many which, cooks. yeah, do you remember that right. where all the uh, yeah. all the crazy little cooking robots came out and tried to kill them? 
is actually a pretty cool card as far as that goes. No pain, no fame with our boy Leo. Yeah. They go through an exercise road routine. Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't remember that? They were doing step da line dancing or something. Conquering the computer. Donnie just smacks it, it looks like. All right. Mm, Last open. one. We're not eating the gum this time. Yeah, I don't think so. That, uh, um, we I... probably should have saved eating the gum to the mm. end. Yeah. To get you guys to stick around because everyone's That's, said, that's really right, what you want to see, right? They opened it. They ate it. And now I'm done. Oh, I got another uh, part of the puzzle here with little Mikey on the back. And I'll give you the last three in there. So, I'll let you go first. The Dragon Master. This is the guy that had the dragon egg and you got Sweet Rabbit in the back. A finale for the fly. Got that sweet rocket ship there. Now, is that the last card in the set? Yeah, 170. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, fair enough. Um, now nah, continue on to 171. Okay. Well, that's weird. I don't know how many cards are actually in the set. Uh, a gift from a fly. You've got Rocksteady and Bebop just kind of hanging out. <sighs> Turtles to the rescue. There we go. We got the uh, Bonsai Bunny. Um, God dang it. I can't remember his name already. Hoggy. And uh, Rabbit Hutch Manager. <laughs> Enter the Dragon, a really sweet card with that classic dragon on it. There you have it, guys. Yeah, that's that's some straight nostalgia up nostalgia. Nostalgia in the bag. Terrible gum. If you guys want some, come on over yeah. and get you a piece. Yeah, we, we got you some saved. But, uh, maybe we'll have a contest where we send There's you some it. sweet bubble gum. There's a reaction video. Oh, man. Now, this is our first trading card video, and... Uh, I really hadn't planned on doing a ton of them, but I was super excited about this one. So, we'll see how that goes. If you, if you thought it was cool, we'll bring you some more. At, uh, oh, my burps taste like nasty. I'm book. kind of interested to see if I had a set when I was a kid and kind of want to drag them out and maybe fill some holes. Maybe, maybe, maybe I completed it here. That'd be really cool. Man, is that a, that a stupid... Stupid card. And there's a lot of really dumb yeah. cards in this set. This, this was purely just milking a uh, popular product by Tops. And as a kid, I absolutely loved it, so I can't can't bash them too much. Did you, do you remember collecting these? I remember you had to go over to, like, PAX, like, or Triple well, R Freight to get them. Because they'd already been out of shops by eight years or something. Uh, well, I remember walking down to the gas station as a young lad getting some of these and then pogs were a, Ooh. A, a 25 cent too so you'd go down there with your dollar and you'd buy your two pogs and two packs of these and you'd give the man a dollar and you'd be like well it's plus tax and then you hope that they had to save the penny yeah jar jar next to you yeah, being a kid you're just like that's all i got what are you gonna do just take and my then, dollar <laughs> normally we got our stuff and two pogs so the slammers were 50 cents pogs were 25 mm -hmm. but anyway yeah that's how that's how i remember it i would definitely remember the gum as soon as it hit your mouth yeah, just dissolving there is a very exactly how it did yeah it, it hasn't changed much um but yeah unfortunately it tasted like an old book <laughs> remember guys i hope you enjoyed this <laughs> like subscribe bring the bell so you know whenever we bring you some more fishy stuff yeah uh, let us know in the comments about your thoughts on what you remember about these mm -hmm. bad boys and what other. Do you have a set of these ones. in the closet? Yeah, share with us your stories, guys. Well, and until next time, though, we will As always. see you later.